What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, you'll learn how to create pipes and wires in Blender in the fastest and easiest way. So, keep watching the video. You can create a wire or pipe by using a cylinder and press tab to go to edit mode and three to go to face select mode or just select it from here and choose these faces then x and faces to delete them and press a to select all of them then s to scale it and shift z to just scale it on the x and y axis and not in z axis and we'll have a shape like this this would be great at the first impression but if you want to create a difficult shape it won't work for you properly for example press tab again to go to edit mode and come back to vertex select mode and select these vertices here now press 1 to go to front or to graphic view and e to extrude it i'm gonna extrude it and rotate it you see you you'll need much more settings and works to do for fixing the shape but it won't be perfect and great as you want you you'll need to do a lot of works but the result won't be the thing that you'd want to and we can scale it and again extrude it and press x to go to to and press x to snap it to the x axis then press tab again and that's it that's not bad but it's not perfect it's not good it won't work for you as you want it to be but the other way that helped me a lot is using curves let's hide this and bring a plane or any of these meshes cube circle uv sphere there's no different but i'm gonna use plane for this tutorial then press tab to go to edit mode and m and at center to merge them at just one vertex and if you grab it you'll see that we have just one vertex here then press one to go to front or to graphic view and create the shape you want press e to extrude it and z to snap it to the z axis then e again and x to snap it to the x axis i want this shape to be our pipe and select this vertex here then Control shift b to bevel it and by middle button of mouse you can control the segments of here we can use five i don't want it to be high poly and it's good i think yes that's good press tab again to go to object mode and from the object menu you can find the convert to and choose curve and now if you press tab you'll see that it's not mesh anymore it's a curve and we're working with curves not the mesh and if you see here we have another option here it's properties for this curve object and come down and under the geometry tab the bevel part you can increase the depth of it and there you go you can control the amount you can control the depth of your pipe or wire or anything you like and you can fix the amount, you can change the resolution, you can play with the amount. And when you're satisfied and pleased with the result, come here, object, and uh, let's convert it to mesh. And it's not a curve anymore, it's mesh. And if you press tab, you'll see that we have polygons now. And now if you want to change it, it would be a little, a little hard to find the correct shape. Press tab to go to object mode and let's bring it to the side, somewhere like this. And the other way is to start from the curve from the beginning. You can choose the Bezier curve and press tab to go to edit mode. A to select all and SY0 to make the curve straight. Then do the same thing as we did for this one. Let's increase the depth of bevel something like this i want it a little bit thin 
and you can create anything you like any shape you'd like to press E to extrude it you can rotate it and you can make shapes easier with this technique this will help you a lot in your works as it helped me and I found it really useful in my works so I created this video to share it with you too I hope this video would be helpful for you and if you enjoyed the video just share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also like the video and leave a comment if it was helpful for you or not so see you on the next video